Yo, 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 it's your boy EJ back with another video, man. It's just a late night video for y'all go to bed. I know y'all like um, watching me while you lay down in the bed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, while you're comfortable, you know what I'm saying? So, thought I'd give y'all another little video before I go to bed, man. So, in a couple days, one of the boys leaving, one of the girls leaving. Um, so, tomorrow... They're going to the same person, my boy Benny. Shout out, Benny. Tomorrow, I'm going to put them together. I'm going to have a boy and a girl together where they can eat together, start getting. You know, I was going to do it tonight, and I still may go grab her tonight and put her with him just so they can start getting used to being together. Um, so when they do get together with Benny, it won't be no issue. It won't be no food aggression. If it is, I'm sure he'll figure it out, but... I just want them to get acquainted. Um, so I might do that tonight, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. I think he's coming Tuesday, so um, that'll get him two days. They'll get him Monday. Uh, we'll get him tonight and Monday to be acquainted with each other. Because um, you know they're going to be together for the rest of their life, man. Um, but I just, I'm gonna show y'all the dogs. I've already cleaned the garage, sanitized the garage. I ain't gonna lie. This is so much easier than cleaning it back there. And I'm gonna say, first reason is easier because finally, y'all, finally, the um, pressure washer, as y'all know, I sent my big pressure washer back. They sent me some bogus ass pressure washer that's cheaper than the one I the one I paid for. So my new one, the better one, is on the way. It's coming. But in the meantime, I took this one out the box and I got it, you know, got it working. So finally, the cleanest solution that I put inside of it works. So I was able to spray, you know, spray the solution in the water and it, it cleans so much better, man. So back then, when I used to clean the back, it was just water. It wasn't no cleaning solution. I was having to Go back there, spray cleaning solution, and then using the pressure washer. It was just, I said, it's stupid, man. So the concrete was never, it was getting clean by the water, but it was never getting clean like how it's supposed to get clean. How I paid over 200 some dollars for it to get clean with the pressure washer with the solution. But now we got the solution to work with the smaller pressure <coughs> washer. Um, so that's good. The new pressure washer being in soon, so I'm going to put this one. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I don't know. I thought to send it back within 30 days. But if I don't, what they gonna do? What they gonna do? Call me, send me an email. Anyway, so I might send it back anyway. I don't need it. But I'm just gonna show y'all the dogs real quick. Also, they get dirty every day. So every couple of days or so, I'm, I'll rinse them off. You know what I'm saying? So they were sh you know, they were shaking up, but it's 70 degrees out here, man, like 70 something. It's probably 80 right now, so let them shake, man. They, it's all right, they'll be all right. As you guys know, after I clean up everything, they start to poop. So guess who's pooping right now? Katana. It's a, it's, it's a non-stop thing, man. You go you clean a puppy, you wash them, they pee, they dookie, right after. It's just, it's a non-stop thing, man. Listen, I just cleaned everything. Now they already. What up, Zeus? Hey, girl. Power of dookie right there. It's non-stop, bro. I just cleaned your thing out, bro. Just cleaned it out. Just, I'm talking about, as y'all know, this is a full-time job. No off days. Y'all, if I take an off day, if I were to show y'all what it looks like 
for me not to do something for one day, you would swear up and down. Only breeders understand this. You would swear up and down that I don't give a damn about these dogs. You would swear up and down that they living in the most horrible situation, uncomfortable situation possible. That you would swear up and down. That's what you would think. If I go one day, and I'm not talking about a whole 24 hours, I'm just talking about I do it tonight, and tomorrow I'll be like, I'm not gonna do it again until tomorrow night. If I just go a day, not 24 hours, just a day, like the daytime. Cause I've done it before. I've went the whole day, like I'm gonna fuck with them tonight. And when I tell y'all, it be crazy. It be crazy. I'm talking about crazy, bro. So much poop, so much pee everywhere on them smushed it just be like I, i've now already washed them all up right and the reason i rinsed them off is katana no the reason i, I rinsed them off is because i picked one up and i felt like dry shit on on the stomach i'm just like golly i also i pick another one up and my hand was sticky so you know what that means whenever you touch a dog and your hand is sticky afterward that means that that does piss you know what i'm saying hey katana Come on, let's walk over here, Katana. Come on. Go for a late night walk. Come on. Come on. Katana, let's go. Let's go for a late night walk. Come on. Nope, come on. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Zeus don't like this. Zeus like, bro, that's, that's all I walk, bro. Come on. Come on. Katana. Hey. Let's go. Bunch of Mexican music in the background. I don't know why I just got scared, so I don't understand. Come on. So, this is a big old field, y'all. I wish I could be out here in the daytime with the dogs, but first off, it's way too hot. Second off, this is an urban neighborhood with a bunch of people, and you know, it's kind of hard to do. But nighttime is pretty dope. It feels good out here. Just able to she able to run around. I just had Zeus and Roxy out here. They was all down here running around by themselves while I cleaned the kennel. This time when I cleaned the kennel, I opened up all the gates to let them all out. The puppies didn't leave the front yard. Katana didn't leave the front yard. But Zeus and uh, Roxy was over here because I bring them up here at nighttime. So they was over here running around. They were over here running around, y'all. Then I said, Zeus, Roxy, and they ran back up to the kennel. They got good recall. Katana on the other hand. She may not even come back. Gotta get her used to coming down here with me. I love her coat, man. She like a rock walker. I can't wait till her growth spurt, her growth spurt start coming in. As y'all can see, Katana is super skinny looking, right? As y'all can see, she's not that thick. As the puppies in the and puppies in the garage in the backyard, they look they look skinny. But y'all see how Zeus is. Y'all see how Roxy is. All of them start out like this. All of them start out like this. The st uh, standards pockets. Um. They don't really start out like how my dog started, but XL start out skinny. And then they poof, out of nowhere. So I go with the XLs, man. Can't stress that, y'all. Somebody come in and say, bro, anybody notice his dogs are skinny? Bro, these are XLs, bro. That's how XL start. Look at Nate. Look at Zeus. Go back and watch the videos. 
All you gotta do is go back and watch the video. Go back, go back and watch my videos for a year and a half ago. Just go back and look at Zeus when he was six months, seven months, eight months. Just go back and look at him. Just go watch him. You don't got it, then you will know. Look at Zeus now. Hey, girl. I will let Navy out, uh, out here. But Navy is like, first off, he's alpha. Second off, he's he has a high prey draw. He has an extremely high prey draw. So if you see a cat, there's nothing I can say for him to not go after it. Literally, there's nothing I can say. It, me and him was sitting on the car at night time the other day, probably a couple days ago. I was just sitting on the car, I was smoking. Uh, I was chilling, I was chilling myself. I seen the cat in the middle of the street, Navy was locked on it. He was just sitting there. I said, Navy, no. He never looked back at me. I said, Navy, I touched him, he moved. He didn't move a muscle. That cat got close enough, he took off out there. Of course, he didn't catch it. It's hard to catch a cat, especially when it's just, you know, the cats know the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Cats are, they're, they're so adaptive to whatever environment they're in. They know the environment. It's so hard to catch a cat, even as a human being. Like, it's hard. you have to, humans have to track, trap cats. You know what I'm saying? You can't just catch a cat. But yeah, uh, he can catch it. But the, the point of the matter is, the point where I'm trying to get at is, there's no stopping him when he sees something he wants. That's why it's very important not to walk your dogs off leash. That's why it's very important not to have your dogs um, away from you, you know what I'm saying? To keep control over your animals, man. Because um, these dogs get in their head and they, where they want to do something and they go for it. Like even if you were to grab the cat, it would have been hard for me to even stop him to let the cat go, you know what I'm saying? These are these are beasts of dogs, man. They not no pushovers. Like they not pushovers. They good family dogs. They good with people and all that. But at the end of the day, they still dogs, man. You gotta understand that these are still dogs. You know what I'm saying? They did. They do the range. The range. I don't know what I'm trying to say. They do come from wolves. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he just threw up. This sounds like a waterfall. <laughs> you just got done eating and drinking and moving too fast. You just pooped in your kennel. I still don't understand that. You ready to go back? Come on. Nope. What are you doing? You gotta learn how to walk, man. Tripping. That's a that's a good girl. Why are you walking in front of me? Look at this all over the place. I like her movement though, man. I'm really excited about about having her in my camp. She's super athletic. Come on, girl. Good movements, good bones. Man, she's gonna be a big girl, man. Black Tick Tribe. Come on, Katana. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Where you going? The turn up. Katana, let's go! Katana, let's go! Cross my hand with y'all. Hey!
That's one thing I don't do. I don't chase dogs. Come here. Katana. See little stupid shit right there. I don't like this type of shit, man. Go Zeus. Let's go. Fast up. Come on, man. Just got a mark, huh? It's the only thing my boys, man. I always marking. Hey! Where you going with fat daddy? Come on, Fat Daddy. Zeus. Yeah, I want to keep one of his sons so bad, bro. But that is, I just have too many boys, bro. But it's like I want to keep one of his sons because I know his son's going to be so much bigger and more mobile than he is. But he's pretty mobile, but just like I know they're going to be better. Like I know they're going to be. I know they better. You know what I'm saying? In the NBF, it won't be. It won't say Cyber Bully Zeus. It'll say NBF. Whatever I name, I'm one of the boys. More mobile, bigger bones, taller, just better. No, they're gonna. I know they're gonna be better. Like, I don't know. They don't have no, I gotta make a decision, bro, about keeping one of the boys, man. All right, man. Zeus for sale, man. You need a stud in your life. You need a stud in... Zeus for sale, man. My big boy Zeus for sale, man. So I think I'm just gonna keep one of his sons, man. Ain't no point having him in his son. Should I sell you, Zeus? Yeah, bro, no, you love me too much. You ain't gonna let me go. Yeah, bro, you love me too much. You ain't gonna let me go. Somebody come with 6K, you get him. 6K, he yours. Zeus. Six star wow, he yours. What I paid. Six star wow. You can get them. Get what I paid for them. And that's not having to take care of for two years. And he's ready to go right now. And he already got a name. He already got a name in his world. Two litters on the ground. Big boy stud. 6K he yours. What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? 6K, he yours. Y'all ain't to my neck. Come on, boy. 
He's 6K, and I'm selling his son for 3,500, and his son's gonna be bigger than him. Y'all don't buy him or his son. One of y'all are crazy. That don't make no sense. Come on, come on, boys, let's go. We ain't finna be out all night. You just came over here. Come on. Let's go. You wanna stay with me forever? You wanna stay with me forever? Ooh, I'm gonna drop the phone. You wanna stay with me forever, Zeus? Hey, bro. He ain't gonna get rid of me. Somebody come with that 6K, Zeus. You out of here, man. Somebody come with that 6K, Zeus. You out of here, man. I'm sorry, buddy. Somebody come with 6K, you out of here, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Somebody come with that six right rex. You out of here, man. You got to go. Even though I love you, man. Whenever you run into uh, a business, a breeding business, and stuff like that, keeping a lot of boys. It's gonna run you. It's gonna. It's just gonna run your business to the ground, man. You do not need a bunch of males. You know what I'm saying? You need a couple good ones, which I got a good one right here. To me, he better than Navy. Whenever I think about breeding and dogs and all that colors and size and thickness, he better than Navy to me, personal. Navy. I didn't buy Navy for breeding. I bought Navy because I wanted an athletic dog. I just wanted a big dog that could roam me. Because I was when I bought Navy, I was still playing basketball. I was running. I was hiking a lot. So he was perfect for what I, you know what I'm saying, what I was doing. So Navy was like my personal dog, but I bought Zeus specifically to breed. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. Good dog, though. That's it for this video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. It's your boy EJ with NBF Kennel. Nothing but four family bullies, man. Nothing but four family bullies, man. I do have four. I got five Zeus sons available, man. But I'm only, I think I'm going to keep one. But the daddy is available too, man. Zeus is on the market, man. You want Zeus, you got to come with that big six, man. I even pay for shipping, man. You come with six, I pay for shipping. I'll get them to you, man. It's your boy EJ, and I'm signing out, man. Everything about him perfect. Had him since he was eight weeks. You want Roxy come with six too, man. Roxy for sale, six. Both of them six. You come with 10 bands, you get both of them for a pair. You get a Tri and a Merle for 10 racks. Her heat coming up in two months. That's Tri Merle's right on the dot. I don't need her no more. I got a daughter, which is a Merle, which is a Nate, which I already threw the blood in the Navy. I really don't need her no more. You come with six, you get her. Come with six, you get Zeus. Somebody come with 10, they get two dogs. You have a litter on the ground in three months. This year. You buy both of them for 10 racks, you can have a litter on the ground this year.